and I have new angels here today doing the camera work that I've never worked with before, totally trusting each other to make this a successful program so we can uplift this whole idea of World Unity Day. Well, it's interesting. You know, there's a deep, beautiful intelligence. You know, I like to call it just divine grace. That's just part of life itself. And the more we open and allow it to express in our lives, really wonderful things happen in a very profound, concrete way, like you're expressing there and like the way that World U um, the We Are One production unfolded. Amazing stories well, yeah, and of I things think... just falling into place and people being there and people showing up and resources being made available. And, you know, there was just like a, a divine orchestration. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And... and so with this event, this World Unity Day event, that's the same thing that happened with that. I was open to conceiving what this wanted to be. There's not one person in that that I knew before I started the production of that. And it took about nine weeks working full-time to, to research and to find people and to contact them. And m many of those people, I met them that night <laughs> as we put on this two-hour extravaganza that just, you know, there was 20 elementary school children there. There was just a host of speakers. And the whole interfaith ceremony all came together through this grace. All these interfaith leaders had never met each other and I had a brief idea of what I wanted them to do with this water ceremony that I had seen in a peace festival in D.C., mm. you know, prior to that, mm -hmm. about each person, you know, pouring water into a large bowl representing the, you know, the merging together of all the different faith traditions. And so except for that, I had that and wanted each person to say something, and that wound up being a very, very powerful part of the... The event last oh. year that we highlight, and you'll just see a brief, you'll see each person just, you know, briefly a phrase from that, because it was a two-hour event, but um, it was just beautiful to see how, how spirit moves and how it works through people and brings things together and coordinates things, and well, it's an awe-inspiring thing that never ceases to amaze me. And, and you know what, and this will continue to co-create more stories for a long time during now during and after this so what I want to do is I want to make sure that our director is ready to show us that DVD and show everybody that isn't that exciting you ready for it Kevin absolutely ready? I'm absolutely <laughs> ready too. sit back and enjoy here it comes Sedona is the first city globally to recognize November 11th as World Unity Day. The vision of a World Unity Day is to have a day embraced by individuals, communities, and nations throughout the world. A day to celebrate and rejoice in the rich cultural diversity of the human family. On the 11th day of the 11th month, the First World War ended in an armistice agreement signed in France. Most veterans serve their country in hopes of winning peace with the long-term hope of world unity. the most cutting-edge ways and programs to de-escalate violence, both domestically and internationally. impact on the future of the possibilities for World Unity Day. Thank you guys. You are a great big family. I'm here as kind of a representative of the power of young people. We're the most connected, diverse generation that the world has ever seen. And you imagine if you put the power in the hands of young people to create change in partnership with locally led solutions around the world, what could happen? Oh, hey, 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 hey.
awareness shows that humans expand their consciousness by adding and incorporating broader perspectives. I challenge you to embrace the perspective of those who think so differently from you that it makes you uncomfortable. Going beyond um, racism and bigotry and hatred and prejudice and narrow nationalism, um, these are the ways to heal ourselves. We have a chance that no generation has ever had to create a world where every man, woman, and child has the opportunity to lead a decent life. Let's The day I can recognize that I'm willing to protect somebody else's dreams, and I'm willing to protect somebody else's fears and help them, that's when you have unity. And we must begin all the more to look into the eyes and souls and hearts of all of our brothers and sisters, because when we do that, that's when we truly see God at work. So powerful is the light of unity that it can illuminate the whole earth. God is not outside us, but is all pervading. That supreme being dwells in human beings, in every atom of the universe. People may follow different paths or divide themselves under different labels, but essentially man is one. Oh, Spirit sees no color, spirit sees no shape, spirit sees no gender. It is said, look beyond all of that and simply touch and connect with that heart place. As I look into my brother's eyes, all this is what I recognize from the eternal. Let us celebrate the wealth of our diversity and strive to learn from each other and help one another in a spirit of openness, understanding, trust, and respect. Woo! Yeah.